Here's a quick guide to the contour tool on Affinity Designer for the iPad. I'll show you how it works in its most basic form by drawing out a quick curve. And we'll select the contour tool with this purple looking donut icon and just here. And we've got a path that we've created. And what the contour tool does is allow you to modify that path and push away from its center line by using this slider or any of these handles. And what that'll do is allow you to create new shapes from existing ones. And all this is editable. If you just go over to the No tool, you can change the original shape of it. We'll just go back to the Contour tool. We can convert it, the whole thing to curves and we'll get new nodes in each corner, which are, of course, are independently modifiable. The contour tool also works with shapes. Let me just draw out something in the center of the screen. And I'll show you this, the difference between the move tool and the contour tool. So I select the move tool. I can change the size and proportion, but the shape essentially stays the same. I'm going to pick up the contour tool and grab the same handle. I can change the shape from the original into something new. And if I pick up the uh, this option here, force open, it'll introduce like a center section. And that works across all shapes. It'll have some kind of effect like that. And you can combine different shapes together to create new shapes. And you might just find something in there that you're looking for and it'll save you from hand drawing the whole thing. And the technique also works with lettering. If you found this video useful, give me a like and please do consider checking out my homepage and maybe even subscribing. If you've got any questions, drop me a comment.